hello angels and welcome back to my channel as you can tell today we're back with a brand new video today's is another book video um i know i am in a situation that i would usually film a makeup video but this is a book video um please excuse my hair it's wet and drying um but i don't want to use heat on it so this sun is very annoying so let's sort that out but today oh that did not work today we are here to film the books that i read in the month of january it is the end of january it's actually the first of february today the day before this goes up um great start to the new year um yeah so today i'm just gonna share with you the books that i read in january and what i rated them and what i thought of them so let's just get straight into today's video So I'm just getting um, the ratings up on my phone, on my iPad even, um, so give me a second. Um, I also have someone coming to view my house in about 12 minutes, so this could be really interesting. Um, and like I have to view my room, my roommate, I move out after this and my roommate's got to find people to move in. Um, so, and my room's the only one that hasn't been taken yet. So, someone's coming to view my room. Um, it's not exactly in its tidiest state, um, but it's a guy coming to view it. So, does it really matter? No. Um, so, let's jump in. So, in January, I read a total of 11 books, which is actually quite a lot for me. I don't usually read that much a month. Um, which is great like I love reading but it's also very damaging for my bank account <laughs> um but yeah I read 11 books this month some of them were easier to read than others so that's probably why um but yeah I'm actually very surprised that I did read 11 books um that just doesn't really happen for me you know so we're also gonna ignore my skin it's really breaking out at the moment but yeah um, let's just jump straight in. So the first book that I read this year was um, All That She Could See by Carrie Hope Fletcher. All That She Could See. Yeah. <laughs> so I read this book at the beginning of the year. I read this book many times before um, and I absolutely loved this book. Um, the whole storyline, the whole story, the characters, there's, there's nothing that I don't like about this book. Um, so that being said, I did give it five stars, but that's not a surprise if you know me because I've read Carrie's books before and they've always been five stars. Going on to the next book, we have When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Fletcher. Um, this is also five stars. It's got two other things that I absolutely love, which is theatre and books. Um, so there's nothing that could have gone wrong here. It's fun as well. I mean, there could have been. Um, but yeah, this is just a beautiful story. So that's that one. Um, unsurprisingly, the next one we have is In the Time We Lost by Carrie Fletcher. Um, this is also one of my absolute favourite books. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the ending, I will say that, but it's still one of my favourite books and I absolutely love it. And there's no surprise that this is also five stars. Um, the ending could have been different and I would have loved it even more than I already do. But not everything can have an happy ending, you know? So, I don't know if it's going to be a spoiler. Anyway, so the next book I read, which is the last book by Carrie Fletcher at the moment, because she hasn't released her, her next one, which is Into the Spotlight. Um, I think this is a children's book, but here we are. I absolutely love this. Once again, it's got two things that I love, theatre and reading. And yeah, this is just such a lovely story that I absolutely love it. That is another five stars. So now onto the books that aren't by Carrie Hope Fletcher, but I was recommended this book by Carrie. So I saw that Carrie read this book and absolutely loved it. And then I tagged her in my story saying for the that the last book that I read, which is in the time we which was Into the Spotlight. And I I was like, just finished this book, love it. And then I went as like help me pick my next book and there was two books and one of them 
was the one I read next, which is <laughs> Daisy Jones and the Six. There was two books and I was just trying to decide which one to read and Carrie voted for Daisy Jones and I was like, well, obviously that means that I've got to read it, you know? Um, so this is not a typical book that I would read. Um, but that being said, I absolutely flipping loved this book and I'm glad that it was recommended to me. I love Taylor Jenkins' read. Um, I've only read before this I'd only read one book by her which is um, The Seven Husbands which is one of my all-time favourite books um, and this is a close second to that book. Um, I love the way that it's written in kind of like a documentary style and it could not be better. Um, so yeah this book was also five stars. <laughs> So on to the next one, which is the one that I was trying to choose between Daisy Jones and this book, which is The Unhoneymooners, because this was actually um, one of my book club reads for this for, for January. There was two. There was um, It Ends With Us, which was the main book. And then this one was if you had already read It Ends With Us or if you didn't want to read It Ends With Us because of the trigger warnings with it. Um, but I read this book and I loved it. There was it's it's a great story i did only give it four stars um i can't really remember why but i just feel like it was missing something like it wasn't as great as it probably could have been um but it's still a great story and i do kind of love the enemies to lovers trope so yeah that one that <laughs> i didn't actually know that christina lauren isn't uh, well an author but it's two people it's christina what's her name um christina is um christina hobbs and lauren billings and they've just put their names together i thought that was really cool because i didn't know that um so the next book i read was um you'll be the death of me by karen m mccannis um i love her books i've read all of the ones on the back so she's got four out which are one of us is lying one of us is next two can keep a secret and the cousins Um, i absolutely love that i <laughs> um i loved all of her books that being said i gave this one four and a half stars just because it could have been a bit better there was some stuff that was missing um for me personally probably because it's catered more towards the younger side of a young adult um there could have been a few things that i would have liked to have read more to make it a bit better but either way it was a really good book i love the story and i love spread edges so that was four and a half stars oh no so i got distracted because the person came to view my room um and i kind of just was like um there's books all over my bed i do really apologize for that my desk is a mess um and actually he was like i love the amount of books you have because i do english lit and i'm a reader and i was like <laughs> cute um yeah but i don't know where it was but um i'm pretty sure we're still talking about this book um so this yeah i think as i was saying it just needed something extra that was, it was kind of missing some stuff but either way i did really love it the next book I brought because I saw it on Carrie's Instagram, her book Instagram, I think that she did a video, a live about it, and I wanted to read it. I started reading it. It wasn't like that great, but I was like, let me see what Carrie rated it. Because usually I like a lot of the books that Carrie likes. So I was like, you know what, let me see. She didn't even finish it <laughs> on her story graph. It's in her do not finish. So that was like, okay, I was like, well, I don't care. I'm going to read this book because it seems to right up my street. It wasn't that great. So this is How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. Um, so this book's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I can see why she didn't finish it. And to be honest, I will never like I it's very rare that I will not finish a book. Um, but I gave this um three and a half because there was it's just there was some stuff in there i'm not going to go into it but there were some situations that just weren't great <laughs> if that makes any sense like it just wasn't it was a bit weird and i didn't really like how it was written at some points it just really wasn't for me which is kind of annoying because this is usually a book that would have been right up my street but you know either way it was three and a half so that was probably the last book that i read this year so next what we have is the Hate You Give by Andrew Thomas. 
I did do a podcast episode on this if you want to hear more on my thoughts and what I liked about this book um but I really really love this book um I clearly didn't read what it was going to be about um when I before I read it but um I actually gave this five stars um it says they hate you give number one so I don't know if that means there's another one to this but um yeah I really loved this actually like really loved it um and yeah if you want to know my thoughts on that I did do a podcast about it um so on to the next one we have um this is also a recommendation from Carrie we have The Cat Who Saved Books by Suski Natsuoka I definitely didn't say that right so this book was actually written in Japanese and then translated into English um but I really loved this book it's got two other things that I love the most it's got cats and it's got books so I feel like that is just me in um in a person you know um I have recorded a podcast episode on this um I think it's going out the same day as this could be wrong um I haven't really worked out my schedule yet on that but yeah I really this book I absolutely loved this it was, it was five stars um I'm actually giving this to my mum to read um it was quite an easy read um because it's only like just over 200 pages but one of my faves and then the last book that I read in January was Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid um this book I love it there's something that Taylor puts in her books that is just amazing I don't know what it is what she's putting in them I've only read three of her so far but it, every single one I've read have all been five stars so this is a five star read I don't know what she's putting in here what she's doing but it's working because it was absolutely amazing I really loved the story I love the two different like storylines kind of thing the flashbacks if that's what we want to call it um i have recorded or i'm about to record a podcast episode on this but this won't be going up until next week um but yeah so that is the last book that i read in january um i'm about to finish my it's only the first of february but i'm halfway through a book currently um that i've been reading today so i also have a lot to get done today um but that was 11 books that I read in January it was a really good month it was amazing I don't think it would be that many next month because um I'm back in uni now like full swing so it's a bit crazy I've had two weeks basically I came back on the 10th um and did kind of two weeks of uni but we didn't um I didn't go in once I didn't do any online lecture I think I had one one-to-one -one meeting and that was it and then we have another two weeks off which um I'm working which is this is the second week of it so yeah so I haven't really um had to do much uni work um so it all it's all starting again now so I won't be reading that many next month but we'll see where we're at um, I'm doing good on my reading challenge. I never do reading challenges. Like I never usually do them. Um, and I don't feel terrible if I don't reach the goal. Um, I did change my goal recently to 100 books this year because of how good this month went. But that could have been a mistake. But if you liked this video, please like and subscribe down below because I would love to have you around. On Wednesdays, I do book videos. On Sunday, on Fridays, I do glam makeup and on Sundays I do creative makeup if you're interested in any of those I also have a book podcast that I mentioned and I also just started a um musical theatre and um, designed small business that will be up running soon so please check that out I would love it if you did that um so thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time bye <laughs>